Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hello! So for this video, I am going to be unboxing this Foxy Locks. I uh, don't know. Locks, I assume, means hair. I was on my way to the post office to go collect something else when this was also addressed to me and waiting for me. It's definitely addressed to me. So let's have her open. As you can see, I also haven't really bothered with makeup. Hair extensions. Very similar to, um... The Luxy packaging, obviously just different colour boxing. So it opens up slightly individually. I guess this is the main packet. Quite sparse. But that is definitely a very, very instantly really good blend. Not the right, does that make sense? Okay, I'm let that hook onto the adjustment of my tripod. This is a four-clip lift. So it's definitely no thicker than tape and extensions. As you can see, definitely pre-multi-toned. Uh, One's a two-clip. Another two clip across two individual clips. The word is definitely very plastic. It's like, it seems it feels like, um, it looks like tapins, but yes, the hair itself, the hair itself is so fine looking. It just looks like a perfect bundle for a ponytail. Uh, I'm gonna stick these in and see how to work amongst my hair. Be right back. Okay, so this is all the extensions in. Under the ring light, I can't really tell if they are that much of a perfect match. I will take it outside in just a moment while there's still some good lighting. It's like 5 in the evening when I've got around to filming this. Because so I don't feel so ridiculously lightweight in my hair, which yes means less headaches when you wear extensions for a long period of time. But honestly, um, my Luxy ones have so much more fullness and volume in them. These ones... They're very, very lightweight and obviously very, very smooth. Great for your all extensions when you first take them out of the packet, they're all pretty smooth. I mean, they work really well with um, my hair tone as far as I can tell, but this is under real light, so I also decided to sift through my emails because I could not remember about this package at all. Like, why the heck did it suddenly turn up on my doorstep? But well, it actually didn't turn up on my doorstep, I got it from the post office. But when I was searching through my emails, I then saw an email from them saying that my order has been confirmed and my order has dispatched. I thought, oh yeah, duh, I bought one. <laughs> oh, I can remember basic trigger wrestling lines from the hundred, but I can't remember if it or not I purchased the package, but it took quite a while to arrive and we are slowly but surely packing up the house and I've been pre-recording other videos, keep in mind my Occupy, etc. And I, can... and I completely forgot that was a very bizarre noise that uh, put me on the spot. I will attach the screenshot onto the onto the computer, technically, onto the video I meant to say. Uh, latte blonde, elegant, seamless, 18 inch clipping human hair extensions, 130 grams. They were selling it for 115 euro dollars because it, it is from the UK. I personally paid, paid actually give or take about 200 and maybe 13 dollars or so, Aussie converted dollars. Even though, I, yes, I did also use honey, which is like a internet uh, sugar daddy, giving you scraps of money to help shave off the total price of your pain. This is six inches in uh, uh, enhanced ring lights. So now I'm going to stick myself outside. If you're wondering, which you're probably not, but I'm going to tell you anyway, if you're wondering what the second package was, I ordered myself a topsy tail. Okay, so here's how we are looking outside. Don't mind my blunt cuts. This is just the way I've got the extension sitting. Okay. Yeah, I suppose that will do. Okay, there is a sun flare right there. What's well, better than a solar flare? Take this back into the filming room, my bedroom. So after dumping some of the footage onto my editor, just to get a bit of a better perception of how it's the back, I don't know if it's the placement of the webs or if it's my haircut, but oh my damn, it is fine at the back. I mean, I was separating my hair. You could. Definitely see where my hair cut ended and where the extensions continued. The um, women advertising these extensions on the website, they definitely <coughs> have a lot of fuller, lusher, locks 
pun intended. You gotta keep in mind that when a model is wearing such long, thick, mermaid-esque, luscious uh, hair extensions and then you purchase it for yourself from whatever company, whatever idolizing celebrity has put their name towards it, you can see that they're sporting a lot of thick hair extensions and then you go to put them in your own hair or you play around with the bundle first and then you stick them in your own hair depending on how thick your own hair is and as soon as you see the final result and your own hair is so much finer, extensions included, you think but for top of my hair example, Dove Cameron, yes she has put her name towards uh, what was that, Bellamy with an I Bellamy hair extensions and yes she does wear her own hair extensions it would obviously and honestly be hypocritical if she was to put her name towards extensions put a marketing on them have everybody purchase them to take a hair so that they can have the same hair as Dove and as soon as they receive them for themselves depending on how many bundles you are smart enough to purchase um, honestly when someone is advertising a long, thick, luscious hair, based off the advertisements on their website, um, they make the extensions look so thick and full of luscious, obviously that's just for, just for marketing. Honestly, yes, it's a very, very good blend. Yes, it works well for my hair density. Yes, it is very lightweight and will eliminate headaches. Yes, it works very, very flat, so your hair can come happily lay over top of it and not have to worry about, you know, the work sticking out through your hair, especially bulky ones. The last time I got stuck with bulky ones was with um, VP Fashions. I mean, of course I'm still definitely going to keep them. I do really like them and they are instantly good blends. Back in the day, the Doug Cameron and um, Ash Blonde ones were an instantly good, good blend. So because I was a lot more platinum back then, but as you can see, I have now a lot more roots toning because natural blondes do have a shadow roots, so a natural shadow roots. That's also why I went to go with these Foxy Locks just to try a different brand. Upon the marketing, I thought they'll be ridiculously thick, like VP Fashion thick, not just at the weft or the root, but all the way through. Obviously, I'm not going to get to that much fullness. If that's what I ordered. They said that you are what you eat. Like I've been eating a lot of apples. You are what you spend. And I am genuinely a cheap ass with a low maintenance type of personality and a minimalist. I still for some reason expected them to be fuller but that's also the marketing as well so I will still definitely keep them for the sake of styling. But this was my first impression so thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you all for my future videos. Bye bye.